everyone welcome back to another great tries episode i did think it was about time i did another trying youtubers what i eat in a day so today i'm trying anna sacconi now anna sacconi she is in my opinion the og what i eat in a day woman i she was the first person i ever watched it was like back maybe five six years ago maybe i don't know and she posts very realistic what i eat in a day in these videos people are always trying like really healthy ones and ones that are so unrealistic so i was like let's just go against the grain let's try a realistic what i eat in a day and see how it keeps me sustained for breakfast let's switch to this camera so this is what we've got for breakfast we've got a coffee now if you know me i don't like coffee but she had one with uh, coconut milk, I think, um, a big thing of water, and two eggs with avocado, lemon, salt, pepper. I kind of dodged this one up, so don't look at that. Um, so let's see how I did. Oh, yes. Again, oh, I love that. Okay, Brill. As you can see, this breakfast is a good sized breakfast. There's one avocado, two eggs, two pieces of toast, which is quite a good sized breakfast. So I used to hate avocados, and now I really like them if they're seasoned well. The reason I post what I eat in the day is just so that everyone can see that not everyone eats the same. I think that's the, the one main thing I want you to take away from this. Not everyone's body suits one way of eating. Maybe you do need to eat less. Maybe you need to eat more. Maybe you need to eat more salt. Maybe you need to eat less salt. I, everyone's different. Oh, the one thing I have noticed about Anna's Sikoni's diet so far when I was doing my um, like look at it, Everything's quite expensive. Like, this is an expensive breakfast. This is bougie. I would not be able to have this every day. Avocado is expensive. Two eggs, expensive. Coffee, expensive. I have to say, I'm full up. I think that's the first time I've been full up on one of these challenges. And now I have to drink this coffee and I really don't want to. I hate coffee. I don't know how I'm going to drink this. I don't know how anyone likes coffee. Ugh. I did it. I actually just finished a whole cappuccino. Are you proud of me? I did it. So, breakfast number one, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling full, sustained. So I'll see you on mid morning snack because in this diet, I actually get to have snacks. Yay! Snack time. So for morning snack time, I'm having one of these Ko Yo vanilla yogurts, and she had two dates in there. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've just been on a wild goose chase trying to find this and some other bits which are for pudding tonight. This was very expensive. This humble yogurt right here was something like two pound 99 just for one yogurt. So I'm getting the idea that they have a bigger budget than I do. No, of course they do. They're YouTubers with millions of subscribers. But it's just very interesting to have bougie food for a day. I had avocado and now I'm having a coconut yogurt, a fancy one. I think this is organic. Very fancy. So I've never think about dates and yogurt. To be fair, the texture is very good. And to be fair... The dates really add something in this. I was questioning it because I was like, dates and a yogurt. But they really do add a sweetness and it's not like dates, do you know? It's like sweet. So glad I'm getting morning snack because I was actually getting really hungry. So, uh, cheers. Cheers to Anna for having a morning snack. This would be really good with some chocolate chips in it. You can even see fruit. I don't know. Look, it's even got it on the inside. That is bougie. Right. Probably will never eat this again because it was three pounds, but it's always fun to try, isn't it? Three pounds. I could get a whole meal deal for that. Three pounds. So it's lunchtime now and I am hungry, ready for food. Now, I personally am not a salad lover. Not because I'm one of those people that like, uh, salad health. I actually, when it's hot, I really like salads, but I'm one of those people that I really like having warm food. Hence the whole hot water thing because I don't like having food that's that cold because then I'm cold. I like having hearty food like soup. Oh, one of my favorite things. So this is what we have for lunch. It does look good, but it just doesn't look warm enough. Like I'm a bit chilly right now. So this isn't going to warm me up. Although it does have warm chicken on. So basically it is a 
chicken salad. It's got two chicken thighs, balsamic dressing, sun-dried tomatoes, and leaves and stuff. This isn't my normal meal, but it looks really good. It looks delicious. And this is why I would have hot water right now, because then it would help warm me up. But, alas, no, because I don't think Alice Coney would have a hot water, would she? So I'm going to tuck into this. Let's give it a taste test. Mmm. It's good. That's some good chicken I cooked there. Oh, that was what I just ate, a sun-dried tomato. So, I finished. I'm a bit hungry still, um, but I've got an afternoon snack to look forward to, a real life snack. So I'm not, I'm not mad at it, do you know what I mean? Okay, it's 2.37 now and I'm having my afternoon snack and I have to have another coffee. I'm with oat milk, so I wonder if that will taste any different for me. Not as bad to be fair, and it's foamed up very nicely. So she had this brand called Nice and Nobbly, but I'm having a kind bar because I know she's had these before. This is the peanut butter dark chocolate flavor. I've not tried the peanut butter dark chocolate. I've had the dark chocolate salt one. Yeah, granted, these aren't actually healthy because they're so full of sugar, but they're so good. I'm not eating them for health, I'm eating them for taste. Oh, wow. Mm. This might he help me eat the coffee. Drink the coffee. Mm. Much better. Mm. Coffee is much better with the oat milk, but it's still disgusting. I don't know how anyone drinks it, but it's warming me up. So it's actually a much, much better with the oat milk. It's dinner time now, and we have got our spaghetti, spaghetti, um, with this tomato sauce sort of thing. It's quite the mound of pasta, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually a lot crumbs. I, think, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hack all that. That's a lot. <laughs> Delicious, all done. Beautiful, now time. Big make or breaker. What's it gonna be? What comes after dinner? Mm. Pudding! See, even Jessie says pudding. It's not a weird thing. It doesn't happen to most people. And and it is a big deal. Quote that TV program. Oh, I can't finish the quote. We've got a good pudding situation happening. So we have more frothy milk. She loves a frothy beverage. Just like I like hot water, she likes frothy beverage. And this is, um, again, oat milk. Or oh, maybe she didn't have... Maybe it wasn't oat milk. Well, I've done oat milk. And then for... Pudding, we've got an assortment of biscuits. I tried so hard to find the biscuits that she had, but again, you can only get them on a cardo, much to my sadness. So I've just picked my own assortment of biscuits. I've tried to roughly follow her biscuit plan. So this is what we've got. We've got two bourbons, two chocolate cookies, and two dark chocolate digestive. So these are the cookies I've got. The Tesco's free from milk, and then the dark chocolate digestives from Tesco, which are also free from milk and then bourbons which everyone knows are free from milk so i'm gonna go and have this for pudding i'm very excited and um, come with me into the lounge i'm gonna have my dark i've not tried these dark chocolate digestives with yet so i'm really excited because they're just normal mm. i'm gonna try them in the milk oh this is gonna be a good combination i have to yell there was just an explosion, okay? You guys know what time it is. Debrief time. So obviously now I've done the contrasting Gabby Hanna, Naomi Smart, and Anna Saccone. Now obviously they're not miles apart because Anna Saccone still doesn't eat unhealthy, whereas Naomi Smart and Gabby Hanna eat super healthy. So they're not complete contrasts. But one thing I really noticed, so when when before I did Gabby Hanna and Naomi Smart, obviously I've never done a diet before, so I don't know if this is just my opinion from those two days. Um, but I found that after I'd done those days, at like eight o'clock, I just was eating all the snacks because my body hadn't had any in the day. I literally went in, I was like, crisps, scotch eggs, everything. Whereas yesterday, I didn't need to do that at all because I feel like my body had being sustained the whole time and that's why I so am against diets because I'm like in the long run it's not going to work because you're just going to go back to your old ways if you just 
everything in moderation, people. This is my biggest thing. You don't have to eat just fruit and vegetables, okay? As I said at the end of the Gabby Hanna video, it's all about finding what works for you. Granted, you might not be able to eat as much as Anna Saccone, or you could eat two times more, but everybody is different, and you need to, this is why these what I eat in a dates are so interesting to me, but I'm really not against Gabby Hanna and Naomi Smart and the way they eat, but if people are depriving themselves, that's when I have an issue. So as long as you're not depriving yourself, then great thing was that the diet was very expensive but you know what that's what they want to spend their money on high quality food you go for it I personally wouldn't but that's because I don't have the money to maybe if I did have the money I would um but I hope you have enjoyed if you have if you have give it a like subscribe comment down below who else I should do or I don't know if I should do any more youtubers what I eat in a day maybe you've got a different idea of what I could try it'd be great to know thanks so much